Hey guys, it's me again, Pastor Chris from Dick, Siena. I want you guys to check something out with me. I was walking on my journey today. I was walking today and I come across this right here, this dead log, and I thought, look at that dead tree. And it got to thinking about it. I said, you know, there's dead trees all over the woods here. You can see with me. I got thinking, how'd that tree die? Well, it's obvious. The tree fell away from its source of life, right? When that, when that branch, that limb falls off that tree and that hits the ground, then it no longer is connected to its source of life and it got me thinking about things now it got me thinking about john 15 where jesus says i am the branch i am the vine you are the branches anyone who abides in me will have life but anyone who does not will die and you know that's the same principle as that is that log i just showed you that log it had life as long as it stayed connected to its source of life and as soon as it did as soon as it removed itself from that source of life it began to die now what jesus is talking about in john 14 and 15 is the same thing we only find true life when we are in when we are connected to and a part of that beautiful vine that's called christ now you might think well listen i don't go to church or i don't know jesus and i'm not dying well you're lying to yourself because you are you are slowly every day moving closer to eternity. And the death that we talk about in the Bible is twofold, of course. It could be physical death where this body stops, you know, heart stops beating and brain stops working and we go to our grave. We all know about that. But it also, even more importantly, means spiritual death. That our who we are, our souls, and the very essence of who we are also dies and that death is an absence of god's grace it's an absence of the presence of god and man that's a spot you don't want to be in that limb it's it's, it's nothing but firewood now it's nothing it's really not good to anything but the bugs as it rots and so man as as human beings and as people you're gonna die yeah you know my dad always said there's two things that's guaranteed you know death and taxes and you're going to die and you got to pay taxes or you go to jail. But Christ in his grace offers us life. Even though this body may be dying, even though Paul says, even though this outward tent may be decaying and getting old and, you know, tearing up. Man, the soul, who I am before Christ, man, is ever alive. So the way that we do that, the way that happens is that we are connected to the vine and how that happens is this is that we recognize in god's grace you and i we ask god to forgive us of our sins and humble ourselves before the father and we place our faith that jesus is who he says he is in the bible he's god's son his death satisfied the wrath of god so that now you and i place our faith in him Bible tells me that I'm saved. Now, my body, listen, I'm old. I'll be 48 this year, I think. My kids will correct me if I'm wrong. You know, my knees ache. I'm a little overweight. I'm dying. Chris Platt, the one who's been saved by the Father, who has been redeemed by God's grace, will never die. And that's my hope and that's my joy. That's my joy in my journey. It's my hope and prayer that you find joy on your journey to Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Hey, guys. Pastor Chris here. I hope you're doing well. Um, the video that you just watched is a little noodle of ministry that we put together at Dixie Anna Baptist Church called Joy in the Journey. Um, it's going to be a, it's a little devotional vlog, something where I'll be in different locations walking, you know, doing things, and we'll have a devotion. Whether it's something we see like today's video was that log, you know, it kind of sparked my thinking and thinking about how we stay connected to life in Christ Jesus. And it may be something of Christian history or just whatever it may be. I love Christian history. And maybe we can see how God has done something unique throughout Christian history and how it applies to us today. But, but it'll be just something that will hopefully help you in your journey and help you bring joy in your journey. Um, and it'll be once a month, maybe twice a month, kind of see how it gets going, get the rhythms going, see what the timing, everything looks like. But um, I'm going to post it on my Facebook page when I do it. 
but I'm also going to start a YouTube page. Uh, it's called Joy the Journey Backslash Dixon and Baptist Church. And if you like what's going on, you like what you see, you want to want more of it, um, then check us out at that page. You can go and uh, go on the page, subscribe. That way, when I upload a video, it'll notify you. You know how all that goes. I mean, you've done YouTube before. Um, but again, I just want to invite you into that. Again, it's a ministry of Dixon and Baptist Church. Um, and if this is something that's God's using, then you don't have a church home, man, I want to invite you to come visit us. We're at 3516 Charleston Highway. Very easy to find. Very easy to get to. A beautiful church family. A wonderful group of folks. We worship at 940. I mean, we have Bible study at 945. We worship at 11. You are more than welcome to come with you and your family. Come by yourself. Come and see what God's doing at Dixiana. Again, thank you guys for checking us out. I hope to see you soon.